Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Ellie Rutledge Silver with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. On Sunday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed Senate Bill 4 into law, a show me your papers law that will target welcoming cities and communities. Here to share more about the law is William Stock, ALA president. Bill, thanks for joining me. First, what is SB 4? SB 4 was passed through the Texas legislature and signed by Governor Abbott, and it restricts the ability of cities and counties in Texas to uh, create policies that would encourage positive community relations by limiting the information sharing and cooperation between those cities' police departments and the immigration authorities. So it tries to limit what some call sanctuary city policies, where local law enforcement says they do not want to be involved in immigration enforcement. Uh, Houston and Austin, Texas were two cities that recently uh, made a big splash of resisting having their officers drawn into immigration enforcement. How will SB4 harm communities in Texas? Well, Ellie, like most of the sanctuary city bills, it is really gonna harm uh, community relations in the state of Texas. It's gonna make immigrant communities more mistrustful of the police. It's gonna make them more reluctant to come forward when they've been the victims of crime or when they've been a witness to crime. So it's gonna really make communities more dangerous and it's gonna give criminals the freedom to prey on immigrant communities without being worried that they're gonna to go to the police. How could this bill be challenged? We certainly expect that there will be some overarching challenges to the law that may be brought by advocacy organizations. Our members, I think, are gonna to need to challenge this law on the ground as they see it being implemented. They're gonna be able to move for suppression of evidence. They're gonna to want to find out how their clients were taken into custody, whether the detentions that led to the immigration information coming to the attention of the immigration authorities, uh, whether those detentions were lawful, and they're gonna to wanna to litigate to suppress that information in immigration court. We are certainly gonna to work to provide the resources for our members to be able to bring those challenges successfully, to be able to litigate those challenges in federal court and in the circuit courts of appeal. So we will continue to work against this legislation and others that try to drag state resources into federal immigration enforcement. Thanks, Bill, for joining me. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.